I was okay with that park car back there, wasn't I? Hey, no, we're going to get you uh, Check a central man, you're waiting doorman, Tony. Yes, we're, a bit, we're a bit close to it, so... Oh, you did say anything, so I thought it was all right. Yeah. So because we're being, being too, co too close to that car, if somebody had swung their, their door open, they might have hit us, or if the car moved away, or the pedestrian had stepped out. I'm just trying to remember how I was going to judge it again. Yeah, okay. I'm going to help you judge, judge it in a second. We need, we need to forget a, a reference point. So, do you have an all, an all reference point for normal driving to stay a metre away from the curb? Oh yeah, I told you I did, yeah. Yeah. Um, it comes in a bit there. Okay. So, if you check your central man on your right hand door, Monotone, so that person walking across. Right it right. Yeah, we're going to write it around about Tony. So if you use that same reference point and line it up with the, the tyres, the edge of the tyres on the outside um, of the cars that are parked, that should keep us a metre away from them and somebody should be able to open their door. So if you use them with these cars here, obviously they've got that bike line so it's a bit easier. I'm going to turn left here, Tony. Check our central mirror, right hand door mirror, because we've got a hazard here. Bring your oh. speed down to stop. He's going to his driveway, ain't he? We're just to, I think he's doing manoeuvre, so we're just going to let Is him. Is he? Yeah. Oh, so he's going to his driveway. I think he's going to turn on the road, so we'll just let him do it. That's another thing we can obviously anticipate is okay. people doing manoeuvres like turning turn in the road um, or reversing the, your driveway as you say so it's not always pedestrians I suppose I'll be doing that soon will I? You'll be doing it soon, very soon yeah So as we see, we've got a, a, a van just ahead, just ahead of it. So when we when we <coughs> when we start to move off, what mirrors will you be checking to get past it? Do you remember? On well, middle and right. Why would you check in the middle and right as you move out? See what's following me and see if anybody's overtaking me. Okay. And how far are you going to stay out from this vehicle? Um, so you remember the reference point. Meter. Yep, meter. And how are you going to judge that? That reference point. Okay, that's good. So what's, 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 why is that important to see? Oh, he's got lights on. Yep. It's okay, he's, he's pulling in. He's had his indicator on to come in. So you're anticipating him coming in here because he's had his indicator on. And so I'm turning left. I'm going to turn left here, Tony. So if we want to anticipate... Yeah, so I'm going to use that reference point, yeah? Yes, yeah, so we're going to use that reference point. Yeah. So why is it important to use that reference point? Oh, you said if a door opens or the car could move away or a pedestrian could walk out. Yep, yeah, and what could happen here? If we didn't, didn't use it. Well, you could end up with uh, how many doors you got at the moment? Five. You could end up with six doors, couldn't you? Yeah, we could. Or we could end up hitting the car. That's good. Just to maintain that. Control, isn't it? It's very hard to see the um, pedestrians between the when you've got lines of parked cars, isn't it? So sometimes you sometimes you can see um, underneath the cars. And I'm going to turn right here, Tony. You see underneath the cars, you can see some feet. All right. So. So feet obviously would, would suggest that there's a person be, uh, behind the car. Oh, right. Sometimes you get reflection of car wi uh, windows to see people. So it's always good to scan and to see what's happening behind the car as well and underneath the car. Oh, right. I'm going to turn right here, Tony. So you know this um, this tyre and tyre mic? Yes. Can I use that in every vehicle? Buses and lorries and... Can you use it in every yeah. vehicle? Um, as in... To know where to stop? Um, yes, yeah, you can, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You mean, you're, meaning, you're meaning if one stops in front of you, you're not driving it, yeah? Sorry? You're meaning if you're, stop, if you're stopping... If I'm stopping behind a bus or a lorry? Yeah, do um, I still use that tire and tarmac? Yeah, if you use the tire and tarmac, you should be able to get out by it. Oh. And turning left. I'm going to turn left here, Tony. 
because your the, vehicle, the size of your vehicle doesn't change, so you can get by that regardless. See the tires on the back of that bus? Yeah. They're about ten foot forward, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean now. Yeah, so you'd be looking at the back of the bus, the back of the vehicle, on that occasion, and, uh, could and they, the. Could road. I use the top of the bus in tarmac? You could use the top of the bus in tarmac, yeah. Would that help? You could, yeah. And that, that would certainly help maintain that safe gap so you could get out of an ambulance or if it broke down. So how are you going to be able to, if there's pedestrians here behind these vehicles, how are you going to be able to see them? What would they help you? Look under the wheels. Sorry? Look under the wheels. Look under the wheels, yeah. And turning right. I'm going to turn right here, Tony. So if I just get you to, to hold your position here for a second. Yeah. So we've got a meeting situation there. So before we make that turn, we're just going to have a look in and scan to see if there's anything coming because we can anticipate oh, our vehicles coming down. Do you want to stay in our Obviously we'll have to go into the, um, the middle of the road here. Yeah, I haven't done any practice at meeting, have I? Sorry? I haven't done any practice at meeting, have I? Uh, no, you haven't, no. What we'll do is we'll get your position. So, we, so if, could I have a practice here? Yeah, if you just slow, so, uh, slow the car down to stop. Stop. Okay. Well, stop it, it's right back. Okay, if you, if, you just ease, if you just edge the car forward now. Edge? Uh, yep, yeah. use, use the clutch control. Should I go forward slowly until you tell me to stop? Yeah, go forward slowly until I tell you to stop. Stop there. Okay, so we're just left the centre now. Yeah. Um, and we're about a, meet, a car, a car and a half back from that car, right. so we we're able, we we're able to pull out. So this position now allows a car to come through, yeah, um, and as a chance to get out um, when the space clears. Oh, okay. Right. So when we come up to that, to this spot, this is what they call the hold back position. All oh, right. Okay. So when you remember that for the future, yeah, we'll use that um, if another situation arises. What that cyclist that just came down the pavement and turned into that entrance there? I don't have to worry about him coming past me, do I? Yeah, you do, so you, you've got to leave enough room on this side for him. No, I'm talking about as we're moving in to get the holdback position. Uh, yeah, so when, when when you're approaching sorry, the holdback position, you need to check your central mirror and your left hand door mirror. Oh, right. Um, and for that reason, for yeah. cyclists, because they might pop up and then squeeze oh. by you. Um, Should we move off now? Before moving off, it's important to check our central mirror and our right hand door mirror. Yeah. So let me see you check it, Tony. Wait, right, let me sorry. see you check it. Oh yeah. Central yeah. mirror, see what's behind you. If there's anything overtaking you, check your right hand door mirror. All right, normally. Yeah. There's nothing overtaking you. All right, yeah. So we can move out now and maintain that um, reference point again. Yeah. I've got a bit of an understanding over there, yeah. So is the car coming? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, continue. Sorry, continue. Good. Can I try that again? Yeah, can try it again here, yeah. So, I've got to move in a bit. Yep, stay, stay yeah. left the centre. No need to worry about bikes. Why was I no need to worry about bikes? We didn't mention it just, um, <laughs> what did you mention, but I didn't worry about Yep, so we do need to worry about bikes because the bikes can come up the side. If a, if a bike comes up the side and you, yeah. if you're, you're moving in and not checking, yeah, you never. could you could hit them. Yeah, I've never done it before. It's really difficult to... Um, sh uh, yeah, shall I buy some books on it? Yeah, I'll give it, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. So what, what to do is... So as I came in there, what should I have done? You should have checked your central mirror and your left hand door mirror. All oh, right. And that, that that would have showed you if there was any cyclists oh, coming right. up your left hand yeah. side. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, can we reverse park and... I've got another room there, isn't it? Always a room. So what we're going to do is, we're just... Uh, just to find the position again, that was all. Yeah, should I drive on? Yeah, if you drive one, we can find another yeah. um, occasion that can help you on. Okay, so before we move on, Tony, right. what mirrors are we going to check? Um, middle and right, is it? Yep, so let me see you check them then. All right. And what's the final check we're making before we move off? Sorry? What's the final check we're making before we move off? 
Let me see check your blinds spot in, Tony. Okay. Let me see you check it. So it's important to check that blind spot before we move off. Mm. They're going to be there a long time talking to a policeman because they're going to yeah. sight you somewhere. So cyclists could come up and try and overtake you. Or a motor. to turn left. And we'll get them left here. Yeah. I'm going to turn right. Sorry. Okay, turn, turn right then, sorry. So do I always have to hold back? We've got to understand who is priority first. No, I mean if I'm... Oh, we're just going to anticipate that taxi, aren't we? So it's important to check... They just keep pulling out, don't you? What is important to do is checking the mirrors, Tony. Essential mirror, your right hand yeah. door mirror. You've got, you, there's nobody coming, so we can we can go, continue. Did I have priority there? You priority, yeah. Did I? Uh, no, the, uh, there wasn't anybody coming, so we could we could make priority. The sign, oh, the sign, the sign indicated that um, the other cars have priority. What does that sign mean? That you have priority. priority. Oh, so right. the big the big white yeah. arrow means that you have yeah. priority. All oh, right. So you can check your mirrors. All oh, right. Oh, yeah, I've got the mirrors. Yeah. So if you don't check those mirrors there, Tony, you're not going to see if there's anything behind you. So they, they may not expect you to go out and turn on left here, Tony. Uh, and if you don't check a right hand door mirror, so you might hit something that's over potentially overtaking you on the bike. He's not expecting you to go out. But well, it's not that important to check them before pulling in. It is. It is. Oh, it is, right. So we need, to, we need to check them before pulling in and before um, moving away again. And what we're checking them before I pull in, before, uh, ever again? We're checking them for side costs. Oh, yeah, I should have prompted you. Yeah. So just, just wait there, Tony. Oh, I'm too close again, aren't I? So where should you be? Oh, tires and tarmac, sorry. Okay. And why was it important to get tires and tarmac? And blinds break down. Yeah. And turning left. We're going to turn left here. Yeah, so you know if I'm coming up to a meeting situation? Yeah. I just say this this vehicle here with the uh, stickers on the back, yeah? Yeah. Do I always have to stop? Yeah, you don't always have to stop. If it's clear like this, we can go. We can... No, if there's a vehicle coming towards me, do I always have to stop? It, it depends um, what whose obstruction is out, um, who, where the obstruction in the road is. If it's on our side, and right. we're going to turn right around the boot. If it's on our side, then yes, we do have to stop. I heard my wife talking when she was there in the drive, because she only she just passed a test. Yep. She was banging on about a rolling holdback, and I thought, what, well, what's that all about? Yes, sir. And I thought I'd ask you today, since we're doing the subject. So a rolling holdback means that we can keep your car moving um, if there's enough time um, for that car to, that's coming towards us to come by. We don't have to stop. Keep the car moving at the same speed, or we, at a slower speed. Oh right. So at only a couple of mile an hour. Keep the car moving. It just means we don't have to to stop. Oh right. That's quite handy, so isn't it? We can keep making progress, yeah. Because yeah. I believe that saves fuel as well, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. You're not so harsh on the accelerator. Yeah. Left, just in front of the. And the next road, no left, don't it? Go down there yeah. and stop. Okay, so we've got there's no cars behind us here, Tony. So we've got a left left a position uh, left a centre position here. Yeah. Um, and that's a whole back position. Okay. Oh, right. So if there's a car coming towards us now, this is where we would stop. Oh, no, it's only a one way street, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I've been reading my highway code last night, and uh, when you get them arrows, it's a one way street. Yeah, I was just using an example. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if there was yeah. a car coming towards us, oh, right, yeah. this would be the, the, yeah. the position we would, we'd use. Yeah. A car could get by there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. what minute? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. What minutes will we check before moving off from this position? Now, I'm still trying to remember which mirrors I move before I hold back. Uh, yeah, mm. it would be the, the central mirror and your left hand. Oh, mirror. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember why now as well. For a sake, for a sake, us. So if if you don't check, oh, right, if you yeah, don't check yeah, this, yeah, if you yeah. don't check this uh, left hand door yeah. mirror, Tony, you're going to hit that sake cost. Oh, right, yeah. Now, should I go now? Um, you can go and there's a taxi coming up behind us, yes. Yeah. Check your right hand door mirror. Oh, right, sorry, yeah. So, why is it important to check that right hand door mirror? A taxi could have overtaken me, couldn't he? He could have overtaken you and you wouldn't be able to see him if you didn't yeah. check it, yeah. So, it's good that you checked that.
and turning right. And we're going to turn right here. And don't worry, I'll park it myself, right? Yeah. So just relax. I found that really hard that one. Uh, yeah. You, you got you got a few things down though. Uh, eh? Yeah. That's why it was important to maintain the whole back position and maintain that, that gap when the car lane, the, the, two, the two car lanes. Yeah, I got that bit alright. Uh, so, um, I've done that alright. I don't know why I'm doing it though. Right. So, you're maintaining that gap so that you can pull out um, once, the, once, the, once the car has probably has cleared, cleared the way. I did notice I could see down past the car. Is it, it, was that part of the reason? Say again, sorry. I did notice while I was holding back, yeah. I could see past the car. Yeah, so you stay left the centre so you can see past the cars down the street. All right. <laughs> we'll be coming back to this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. There was uh, there was no control on that one, was there? No. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch if you watch my videos. Um, you know, what's, what's any ones to do with clearance? Um, probably one or two, yeah. You were having to react all the time, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, st I could see the hairs on the back of the head of every, every time I stopped behind the car, yeah? Mm. What was I looking for after, after you... Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, uh, the first one caught you on a words. Uh, you certainly shouldn't have been caught on a words after that. How could you have stopped me doing it the second time, and the third time, and the fourth time? Um, prompting you, on it. Yeah, asking me where I'm going to stop, yeah? Mm. And then asking me, can I remember the reasons why, yeah? Yeah. Um, but you just sit back and allow me, yeah? Yeah, then I shot the question in about the, uh, about the bus and the lorries. Yeah. Yeah, the tires in them, his weight, his vent. It's a bit different, yeah. Yeah, buses and lorries got about a 10 to 12 foot overhang on the back, haven't they? Mm. Yeah? Mm. I'd, I'd be right at the back of the bus if I was to uh, yeah. try that, wouldn't I? Yeah, we need to work on the meeting, uh, the meeting situation, yeah? Yeah. Turn left here, we turn left round the corner. Yeah, uh, you, sh you, you, you should have been telling me to anticipate 90 pedestrians and the motorcyclists who, who did cut the corner, but also there could be a meeting situation around the corner, yeah? Yeah. There was a meeting situation around the corner, wasn't mm. there? Yeah. Yeah, but no guidance. What do you think, what do you think most pupils would have done there? It Doing... stops you um, before you made a turn. Well, well, most pupils would have actually gone in behind them like I did. I think it was a queue of traffic, yeah? All right, pupils, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Mm. So... Well, don't worry, we'll come back to that. Mm. We'll, we'll be, uh, uh, we'll do a phase two later, later on, and uh, and I'll show you the difference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was just no control. No, no I didn't. And um, that that didn't give you a chance. You, you, yeah, near the end, then you kind of came in and, and realised I'm going to be doing meeting here as well, because because meeting is really kind of the big situation, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, they're all important. Um. Yeah, but the meeting one, the anticipation was quite weak at the beginning, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, uh, there was things for me to anticipate. I had that man standing on the on the pavement here before I came down to the main, where I said to you as the compulsory left. Yeah. He was going to go for it at one stage, wasn't he? He was, yeah. And then, I, and then as I turned um, out the corner of my eye, I just spotted the guy jump over the barrier. Mm. Yeah. Okay, me a shock as well, actually. Yeah. Sweet course. 
Yeah, and then it just snowballed from there. Then I was stopping at the backsides of the cars. Um, yeah, you sorted out the uh, uh, the traveling too close to the vehicle quite well. You got me back quite well. Um, and you gave me the reasons why. Mm -hmm. If he stops, I've got to be able to stop you. Yeah? Uh, you came in with a two second rule and, and, and told me how it works, and that was quite good. That was quite well handled. Um, but you needed the prompt on, on the old tires and tarmac. Yeah. Yeah, and don't forget, if we haven't got a meeting situation, invent it. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. All you need is a parked car, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If there's nobody behind you. So, yeah. Yeah? Uh, because, you know, we could do meetings, a meeting situation all day long, and never meet another vehicle. Mm -hmm. But going down that road where we had the uh, traffic cameras, that's a meeting situation, isn't it? I can't drive through them, can I? The, the chevrons. Well, we had, had the great big obstacles on yeah. the left-hand side of the road, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's a situation. We had a learner coming towards you, it was actually on a driving test, yeah? Yeah. And not only that, you also would give way lines, mm -hmm. yeah? It's a meeting situation, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, with the, I'm with the park cars. Um, don't remember, just because you tell me once. You're not going to do it. Um, you. Doesn't mean to say I'm not going to do it again. I might, you know, your pupil might well have a little shave again. I need a bit of reminder, or or even if you'd have said to me now and again, um, and how far are you keeping from these parked cars, and why, mm. and how are you judging it? That would have kept me alert too, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would have. Well, it's all a learning process. Don't worry. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. And it's and it is it is a very difficult uh, it, it's a difficult subject, but we'll. Uh, We'll yeah. do it again, and again, yeah? You can breed. <laughs>